Hi everyone, I hope you're having great day today, and welcome back to my another video. On this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to fix system problems after updating to iOS 16 with Wuteki iFixer. May users are complaining about a variety of iOS 16 issues after the latest iOS release. Therefore, the most common issues on our device are related to the iOS update, stuck on logo screen and many more. In this video, we'll show you many useful guides for the potential iOS 16 problems and provide you with some tips that should help if you run into trouble. Okay, please plug the iPhone to PC with USB cable. And go to website Wuteki iFixer. Wuteki iFixer is the BSD repair tools for iDevices and Apple TV. With this app you can fix all iOS, iPadOS problems without losing data can reset your iPhone or iPad with or without password. And one click to enter and exit recovery mode for free if you don't know how to put your device toward DFU mode. And compatible with all iOS version, including iOS 16. So many issues can fix with Wuteki iFixer. Stuck in recovery mode. Stuck on Apple logo. iPhone bootloop. Black screen and many more. I recommend you use this app because this tool easy to use even beginners can use this tool. And with 100% secure. Okay, please download Wuteki iFixer on your computer. It is available for Windows and Mac OS. Then install Wuteki iFixer on your computer. In the Wuteki iFixer application, you can see standard mode. Advanced mode, reset device and exit or enter recovery mode. Please select the tool you want. In this case, I will choose standard mode to fix iPhone stuck on Apple logo. Make sure the iPhone connected to computer. And this tool will search your device firmware automatically. Please click download. And please wait. Next, please put your device to DFU mode. You can follow the instruction on the screen. Or you can put the device to DFU mode with this tool on the home screen. After entering in DFU mode, this tool will automatically extract and repair your device. Please be patient until the process is complete. After that, your iPhone will automatically restart. Wait until your iPhone turns back on as normal. And yet, your iPhone is back to normal and can be used again. I recommend you use this app, because this tool is easy to use even beginners can use this tool. Okay, thanks for watching this video, and please subscribe this channel for more updates.
and see you on the next tutorial. Thank you.